Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the graphs of sine and cosine functions. Periodic functions are functions whose graphs are repeated after a fixed interval. Best examples of such are the graphs of the trigonometric functions. A function f is said to be periodic if there is a positive integer p such that f of x plus p is equal to f of x for all x in the domain of f. The smallest number p is called the period of the function f. The amplitude of a periodic function is defined as the absolute value of one-half the difference between the maximum and minimum y values. Below is an example of a graph of a periodic function. Notice that from this point up to this point is considered as one period of the graph because beyond these points, the graph will simply repeat the pattern. Moreover, amplitude is from here up to here since this is the one-half of the distance between the maximum point and the minimum point. Let us now talk about the graph of sine function. Consider the table of values and the corresponding graph of the function f of x equals sine x in the interval 0, 2 pi. This is the table of values for the sine function, given x as your angle and sine x as your f of x. Plotting these points on a Cartesian plane, we will have this graph. Notice from the graph that the portion of the graph of f of x which is repeated every period gives one complete cycle of the graph. Thus, the period of the graph of f of x equals sine x is 2 pi. Meaning, beyond this point, the graph will repeat the same pattern. One cycle of the graph of the sine function in 0, 2 pi has its maximum point at pi over 2, 1 and minimum point at 3 pi over 2, negative 1 while its zeros are at x equals 0, pi, and 2 pi. The amplitude of the sine function is 1. Since one half the distance between the maximum point and the minimum point is 1. Therefore, we can define the characteristics of the graph of the sine function as follows. The domain of the graph is in the interval negative infinity up to positive infinity. The range or the values of y are from negative 1 up to positive 1. The minimum value of the graph is negative 1 and the maximum value of the graph is positive 1. The period is 2 pi. And finally, the zeros are x equals k pi where k is an element of integer. This time, let us consider the graph of cosine function. Consider the table of values and the corresponding graph of the function f of x equals cosine x in the interval 0, 2 pi. This is the table of values for the function f of x equals cosine x where x are the values or the measurements of angles and cosine x is the f of x. Plotting these points on a Cartesian plane, we will have this graph. From this graph, notice that the period of f of x equals cosine x is also 2 pi. It also means that beyond this point, the graph or the pattern will simply repeat itself. One cycle of the graph of the cosine is 0, 2 pi and its maximum points are 0, 1 and 2 pi, 1. On the other hand, the minimum point is at pi, negative 1 while its zeros are at pi over 2 
and 3 pi over 2. Also, since the distance between the maximum point and the minimum point is 2 units, hence the amplitude which is 1 half the distance between the maximum and the minimum point will be equal to 1. Thus, the characteristics of the graph of the cosine function will be the following. The domain is also from negative infinity up to positive infinity. The range is also from negative 1 up to positive 1. The minimum value is negative 1. The maximum value is 1. The period is 2 pi. And the zeros are x equals pi over 2 plus k pi where k is an element of integer. This time, let us discuss about the graphs of f of x equals a sin x or f of x equals a cosine x, wherein a is an element of real number. Consider the following graph. In this Cartesian plane, you can see that there are four graphs which are r of x equals negative sin x, h of x equals one half sin x, f of x equals sin x, and g of x equals 5 sin x. We have discussed earlier the graph of f of x equals sin x. Now, we will be comparing the graphs of r of x, h of x, and g of x to the graph of f of x equals sin x. Let us start with the g of x equals 5 sin x. Notice that when we compare the graph, of g of x equals 5 sin x to the graph of f of x equals sin x, we can see that the graph of g of x is vertically stretched. Considering h of x equals 1 half sin x, comparing this graph to the graph of f of x equals sin x, we can notice that the graph of h of x is vertically compressed. The graph of r of x equals negative sin x compared to that graph of f of x equals sin x is a reflection of the graph along the x-axis. Therefore, we can have the following conclusion. If the value of a is greater than 0, then the graph is being stretched vertically. If the value of a is between 0 and 1, then the graph is being compressed vertically. And if the value of A is less than 0, then the graph is being reflected along the x-axis. This time, let us talk about the graphs of f of x equals sine bx or f of x equals cosine bx. Observe the behavior of the graph of f of x equals cosine 3x below. Notice that multiplying the angle x by 3 results into having 3 cycles of the graph for every 2 pi. From this point up to this point is 1 cycle. From this point up to this point is another 1 cycle. So this would be your second cycle. And from this point up to this point wherein we already have reached 2 pi is our third cycle. One particular cycle of the function is completed in 0, 2 pi over 3. Thus, the period of f of x equals cosine 3x must be 2 pi over 3. Generally, functions of these forms have a period of 2 pi over b. Characteristics of the functions of the form f of x equals a sine bx or f of x equals a cosine bx. The domain is still from negative infinity up to positive infinity. The range is from negative a up to positive a. The minimum value is negative a. The maximum value is a. And the period is 2 pi over b. This time, let us talk about the transformation of graphs. The graph of f of x equals a sine bx plus d or f of x equals a cosine bx plus d is obtained by shifting the graph of f of x equals a sine bx or f of x equals a cosine bx d units upward if d is greater than 0 
and d units downward if d is less than 0. Given the functions f of x equals a sine bx minus c or f of x equals a cosine bx minus c, the constant is called the phase shift of the graph of the functions. This means that the graph of f of x equals sine bx or f of x equals a cosine bx is shifted to the left by units when f of x is equal to a sine bx plus c or f of x equals a cosine bx plus c and is shifted to the right by units when f of x is equal to a sine bx minus c or f of x is equal to a cosine bx minus c. Thus, the following are the characteristics of the functions of the form f of x equals a sine bx plus d or f of x equals a cosine bx plus d. The domain is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. The range is from negative a plus d comma a plus d. The minimum value is negative a plus d and the maximum value is a plus d. The period is 2 pi over b while the amplitude is the absolute value of a. On the other hand, the characteristics of the functions of the form f of x equals a sine bx minus c or f of x equals a cosine bx minus c are the following. The domain is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. The range is from negative a up to positive a. The minimum value is negative a. The maximum value is a. The period is 2 pi over b and the amplitude is the absolute value of a. Let us consider the following examples. Determine the amplitude, period, domain, and range of each given function. Then sketch the graph. For our first given, we have the function y equals sine x minus pi over 6. From the given function, we can notice that a is actually equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to pi over 6. Thus, the amplitude is the absolute value of a which is equal to 1. Moreover, the period is 2 pi over b. Since b is equal to 1, then it follows that the period is 2 pi. The phase shift is c over b which is equal to pi over 6. The domain of the function is still from negative infinity up to positive infinity and the range since a is equal to 1 will be from negative 1 up to positive 1. Since the range is from negative 1 up to positive 1, then it means that the minimum value is negative 1 and the maximum value is equal to positive 1. This is the graph of y equals sine x minus pi over 6. Notice that the ends of one cycle of the graph are pi over 6 and 13 pi over 6. From this point, up to this point, we have this one cycle of the graph. For example, number 2, we have the function y equals sine x plus pi over 3. From the given function, we can see that a is still equal to 1, b is also equal to 1, and c is equal to negative pi over 3. Thus, the amplitude of the function is equal to the absolute value of a which is equal to 1. Moreover, the period which is equal to 2 pi over b and b is equal to 1 will be equal to 2 pi. The phase shift is equal to c over b which is equal to negative pi over 3. The domain of the function is still from negative infinity up to positive infinity. Since a is equal to 1, then it means that the range is from negative 1 up to positive 1, giving us as well minimum value of negative 1 and maximum value of 1. This is the graph 
of the given function y equals sine x plus pi over 3. The ends of one cycle of the graph are at negative pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Meaning beyond these points, the graph will just simply repeat its pattern. Finally, for our last example, we have the function y equals 2 cosine 2x minus 2 pi over 3. From the given function, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 2 pi over 3. Therefore, since a is equal to 2, then the amplitude which is equal to the absolute value of A will be equal to 2. The period, which is equal to 2 pi over B, will be equal to 2 pi over 2, which will be equal to pi. Moreover, the phase shift is C over B, which is equal to 2 pi over 3 over 2, which will be equal to pi over 3. The domain of the function will still be from negative infinity up to the positive infinity and the range will be from negative 2 up to positive 2. Since the range is from negative 2 up to positive 2, then it follows that the minimum value is negative 2 and the maximum value is 2. This is the graph of our function y equals 2 cosine 2x minus 2 pi over 3. The ends of one cycle of the graph are at pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. So this is one cycle of the graph. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will be discussing about graphs of other trigonometric functions. Thank you for listening and see you on our next video.